I want to complain. So what the doctor did now? That they, they gave you they gave you drugs yesterday. Uh, uh, a, doc, a doctor gave him drug yesterday. After they spend all the money. Then today another doctor now came and changed the drugs. See, our our hospital need to do better. Our minister of health need to do better. Our government hospitals, doctor nurses need to do better. The annoying part is when the one that called themselves matron, they will not sit down and cross their leg, they will not do anything and be watching film and be pressing phone and be doing Facebook. <laughs> it's, it's annoying. Then they will not bring children, nurses, a big doctor that are learning. They will not put them through. It's, it's, it's appalling, guys. It's appalling. So if you know the people in charge, please beg them. Beg them. Boo boo is not our problem. We are our own problem because Buhari doesn't come to this hospital. It's we that come. So let's do better. Six saw, I'm six saw on this saw. Unpredictable moves, I'm on a zone. All of us be mad together. Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm taking you guys to a hospital in Abuja, a general hospital, we we'll say district hospital. It's actually a government hospital, but you know how government doctors are and everything. Let's know how they treat their patient because I was here because of a complaint and your gear is here to cover you to cover everything my brother's son is on admission here so i was called here oh, okay. so for what they told me to come and investigate as an investigator that i am so guys right now i'm at the hospital and i'm going to the children's ward um uh, the children's ward is upstairs so i'm going up the stairs to the children now let me do a breakdown of what a typical government hospital in nigeria look like going to a government hospital is by the grace of god government hospitals are supposed to have everything you need they have all the equipment they have everything but now the doctors and the nurses that are supposed to be in charge they are nothing to write home about you will see one doctor to 50 patients 10 nurses to 200 people how do you want them to treat these people well let's tell ourselves the gospel truth and some of these doctors as they are working in government hospital they are consulting for people outside so they are not going to give their best when it comes to them to do this work so i'm just getting an overview of the hospital this is we'll say general hospital but guess what almost all the hospital they do the same thing as far as it's government hospitals Something I notice about this hospital is the fact that the hospital is very neat. The hospital is very, very neat. But for the services, hmm, guys. So people, the hospital is actually very neat. But since it's a government hospital in Nigeria, it's government that pay them salary. Whether you work, whether you don't work, your salary will be paid. And some of them don't just work in government hospitals. They have private hospitals that they consult for. So, if in Africa or in Nigeria, those that go to, let me say, government hospital, are those that don't really have option. If you have option, you will use a private hospital. Me, I use a private hospital, you get. Because their services, the way they treat people, is if I get to interview four or five people, when you hear the interviews, when you hear what they will say, you will just weep for our services. Apparently, they've been here for one night. When they came, they met a male doctor that prescribed a drug for them that they went to buy for 19,000 naira. And the next day, another doctor came and said that drug is invalid and prescribed a new drug for them, which I have to go from. They don't have it in the hospital. We have to go from one pharmacy to the other. This is the second pharmacy that I'm going to to see if I'll get that drug to buy. Good morning. 
So guys, I'm just leaving the first pharmacy and they say they did not have it. They don't think they have it in this area and they directed me to somewhere else. So that is where I'm heading to right now. I just hopefully they get the injection there. If not, <sighs> it's only God. So I'm going to take a bike right now because they said this is a bike that will take me to where I'm going. So I'm going to take a bike. Bike! Woman Boku Pharmacy, you know there. Okay, take us to Woman Boku. No. Hey, so where can I check? This my brother is in the hospital, so he's the one that sent it to me. Yes. Is that side they don't have? That's what they sent. That upstairs I'll be the blue upstairs. They sent me to this place. Please where can I check again, sir? So people. I'm just leaving the second pharmacy. What is my head? They said it's funny. I'm looking. I'm leaving the second pharmacy. They don't have it here too. So, um, I'll be going to the third. Second is the third one. I'll be. I'll be going to the third one because the first one I didn't film it to see if they will have it. So the struggle continues. I just left the fourth pharmacy and. Um, they don't have the drugs so hopefully i'm going to this is kubwa i'm going to guarimpa now another different location to check i just hope they will get when i get there so come with me this time around i have to take like a vehicle to where i'm going i'm not tired though so guys come with me So guys, um, living hate medics, they say no branch have that drugs and they have to call that branches they don't have. So hopefully maybe we'll just tell the doctor to change the drug and for now that is what we can do because I'm as I'm checking, my other brothers are also checking other places. We just divided ourselves into four. You go this area, you go this area, you go this area. I don't know why they're actually spe specifically telling us that drug that we should buy, but I'm not holding my this place is noisy. I don't know if I'm ending this video here, but I'm actually going to the hospital from here. That's what I'm doing, guys. Coming out from the cysts, five plus one. Six pharmacies and they don't have it. At this point, I'm exhausted, guys. I'm exhausted. All of us. Much together. So, people, I'm leaving the hospital right now. Uh, I actually want to tell the doctor if there is a way they can change the medicine since we can't find this particular medicine and I've been to five pharmacy. So the doctor was trying to explain to me that it's not that they can't change, it's that they've started administering this particular one, which I'm going to show you guys now. Sorry guys. Uh, see it? I don't know if you guys can see it. Yeah, they started administering this one to the child, so they can't really change it. But they actually described somewhere else for me to go and check. And that is where I'm headed to now to go and check if they will have that particular drug. I was even asking today they don't have a pharmacist that they can direct me to. But they said they don't. So right now, your girl is on the way to the other pharmacy that they prescribe. Hopefully, uh, where is the road? Oh, this is the road. Hopefully, I will get the drugs there finger cross that by a pharmacy oh, people I've lost count I've lost count I just left another pharmacy and they don't have the drugs but the pharmacist is very arrogant he's very rude I don't think he got that certificate 
Maybe it's just these Igbo people that open shop and they start selling drugs. The way he's talking to people there, I just refuse to record him because he's an elderly man. But anyway, Sha, we move. We move. So I'm moving to another one down there because the, direct, the hospital directed me to two. So I'm actually going to the second one again. Hopefully, we we'll have. We don't have. We just start living by prayer and grace of God. For my nephew that is just a few months old. I know God cannot shame me. Ah, NSPPD. Ah, I have prayed. Oh, I have prayed ahead, ahead. My prayer cannot go in vain. So, guys, let's go to the next pharmacy. You can look at me. Look at it. One thing with my country is you have money. But that thing you want to buy, you will not see it. Right now, I know that we cannot afford the drugs. We have money to afford these drugs. But where to get it is the problem. One nurse was even telling me I should try Jumia. Like, are you okay? I don't know how some people get their certificate, but god damn it. So guys, I'm leaving another pharmacy and um, I didn't see the drugs to buy, but I saw my children scream. My children, they use Johnson. Oh God, let me fix it. I saw their cream and their bathing soap also. I hope you guys are seeing it. This is the cream my children use. Johnson cream and soap. So right now, I have to just go back to the hospital. Anything they want to say, but right now I, I'm clueless. I've run out of op options. I've called all the people I, that I need to be called. I've sent the pictures and hopefully I'll get good news from them. We move. So I'm going to the eighth pharmacy right now. Hope, Hopefully they get it. Abby? We don't know how they speak the English. They get it. They don't get it. We get out of here, man. Get the drugs. They are on a blue color. This one a brown color. It's not any bank. Okay, guys. I finally got the drugs. I got it. But another different company, but the same drug. So we have to call the hospital to know if they will approve of it. And the hospital say, yes, we can use it. Just name, but it's the same thing. So we got seven of it you can see what we are facing through in nigerian hospitals ah nigeria as a whole need resetting so for those of you that are going to be here to vote good luck to you guys for those of you that want to jackpot good luck to you guys but it's well with my country say hi you want to say hi to me say hi As a content creator, my job is to save one soul at a time. I'm not doing this video to spite any hospital or to talk bad about any matron, but to just talk about the ill in our society and how to move forward. Hi, guys, this is where I'm ending my video. And your, please come and do your last complaint. Which complaint I want to complain? What the doctor, doctor did now? <laughs> that they, they gave you they gave you drugs yesterday. Yeah, uh, uh, a, doc, a doctor gave him drugs yesterday. <laughs> after they spend all the money, <laughs> then today another doctor now came and changed the drugs. <laughs> See, our our hospital need to do better. <laughs> our minister of health need to do better. Our government hospitals. Doctor, nurses need to do better. The annoying part is when the one that called themselves matron, they will not sit down and cross their leg. They will not do anything and be watching film and be pressing phone and be doing Facebook. <laughs> it's, it's annoying. Then they will not bring children, nurses, a big doctor that are learning. They will not put them through. It's, it's, it's appalling, guys. It's appalling. So if you know the people in charge, please beg them. Beg them. Boo boo is not our problem. We are our own problem because Buhari doesn't come to this hospital. It's we that come. So let's do better. So guys, this is how I'm going to end this video. Is it video? 
Uncle Chris, don't want to tell them the truth, Abby. Sanu, good afternoon. Hi. So, guys, I'm leaving the district hospital. <laughs> Who says I'm waiting with this? Who says I'm three? Close to neighborhood center. Mm -hmm. Uncle Chris, tell them bye bye. Tell them to subscribe. Bye bye. Subscribe. Who said this street? Oh. Okay. So, people, I'm finally back to the house. I don't know if what my brother was trying to stay there was clear. When they went to the hospital the night before, they met a doctor and the doctor prescribed drugs for them, which they went to buy for 19,000 naira, 19,500 to be precise. And the next day, another doctor came and looked at the drugs and he was like, who prescribed this drug? Why will you give this drug to a child? Because they referred the child from the hospital they went to this hospital. That the drugs were not working, why would they ask them to go and buy this kind of drug? And this new doctor condemned all those drugs. I said that they shouldn't use this drug and wrote a new one for them. Now, who is going to use those drugs? Who is going to? What about if that is their last money? I don't even understand. A doctor will prescribe drug. Another doctor will come and say that drug is rubbish. So where are these people learning their work from? I don't understand because the things my eyes saw today, I can't even say it. I cannot say it. With a metron that will sit there for three hours pressing phone, she doesn't do... Oh, God. So, guys, please do it. Subscribe. Like and comment because I'll be bringing the problem of Nigeria, hmm? our problem. I'll be bringing it to limelight, my little way in this my small space. My name is Pat Eyava. Do it. Subscribe, like, and comment, and stay safe, stay healthy, and watch out when you are in your hospital. Open your eyes, shine your eyes.